Okay, sugar. You're doing too much. You sports moms, basketball moms, soccer moms, swim moms, moms that's busy, busy, busy with your kids all the time. You are doing too much. Let me ask you a question. When the last time you took a little time out for yourself? Okay, I'm waiting. When was the last time you took some time out to yourself for you? Not your husband, not your children. You took some time out for you to figure out what you like, what you like to do. Okay, okay, I get it, I get it. You may think, oh, you know, spending time with your kids and your husband, your family, is, is that's enough. Okay. Well, if that's enough, why are you drunk all the time? Why are you popping pills? If spending time with your family and your children is enough, why are you always drunk? Why have you accomplished less having a family than more? Everybody seems to be winning but you. So something's going on. Obviously, you can't walk and chew gum at the same time. Something's going on, sugar. Come on now. Something's going on. Why are you accomplishing less? You've been winging it. You don't know if you're coming or going. You've been flopping around trying to figure out whatever's good for him or them. Your role with. You push back on your career because we all know it's not easy to do it all. Or have it all in one sitting. You need to make sure these kids get to where they at. I totally get it. You don't look the way you used to. I totally get it. But I totally get this too. You're beginning to look like a soccer ball. Or a basketball. Or oddly shaped football. That's what you're beginning to look like. You have made your life so inundated and surrounded with your husband and your children and getting, getting, going, going. You damn near about to run somebody over with that damn minivan trying to get to the next practice. Swim practice, choir, cello, violin, whatever else activities your children have. Because the truth is, the truth is, soccer mom, the truth is, listen, Listen, the truth is, the more you stay busy, the more you keep the big kids busy, the more it looks good, the optics are beautiful. It keeps you from really concentrating on you. It gives you an excuse for not fulfilling some of the things you want to do. Now, granted, totally, I know. You can't run around, you can't take care of these kids and be trying to run around and have four jobs and and, and well, going to school part-time and everything because the reality is if you're doing all these things for you, who going to keep up with the kids? If you're two career people, who going to keep up with the kids? So I get it. But there's something you could do for you. I don't care if it's line dancing, crocheting, swimming, playing a sport yourself with other women or adults. Just take your time out to do something for you. Because I tell you, that part-time being a drunk, that ain't working. They smell it on you at the PTA meetings. Come on, sugar. Come on. You're not fooling nobody. They know you the drunk. Every, every, every time you got a mug, they know something special in there. And it ain't no special creamer. Recognize that you have wants and needs too. And just because you attain a family, that don't mean you give everything up. Everything is within balance. You can still have something for you that's all for you. Because, you know, reality is your children, they're yours only in the sense of they belong to the world too. They're going to, they're getting older, making their own decisions. They're going to go off to college or go off wherever they're going in life to get their lives off and going. Then what you going to do? You going to try to have another baby? No, you barely can keep up now. You going to take your old ass and try to have a, 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 another baby so you can have somebody in the house? Why? By the time that baby's a teenager, you going to be an 
that a drunk that can't keep up, an old drunk that can't keep up with a teenager. Come on, sugar. Come on, start thinking about this. Start thinking about it. It's going to be a time where you don't know if your husband, you, you, you can have all kinds of plans. We always talking about men leaving. He may leave in a different way. What if he dies? They don't always leave you in a sense of leave you for another woman or leave you to go find themselves. Death happens sometimes. And death happen to you. Death can happen to you too. And let me tell you, if you're on your deathbed, are you happy with the life you truly made? And if you are, more power to you. And congratulations. Congratulations that you are a woman that's satisfied and happy with your life. Because that's all that matters. If you are happy, being all over the place, being a part-time drunk, damn near full-time, if you are happy, giving a little bit of yourself everywhere to everybody, if you're happy with that, you know what? I can take it. I'll take it. But if you're not, come on now, sugar. We got to do something about it. Okay? Always be mindful. Hello and goodbye.